Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India What we have been discussing about earlier, uh, it is uh, the spin stabilization. Now, we enter into the reaction wheels and control moment gyros. So, reaction wheels and control moment gyros, they are used to control the attitude of the satellite. But before we enter into that topic, so uh, we will have some video for that. And we have a problem here also that uh, the problem is like uh, we have a top say you know the uh, plate top. Okay. So, this plate top is hinged over this point. So, this is a this point is a ball socket joint. So, this gives it 3 degree of freedom. Okay. Now, this cone is rotating on its axis. Uh, basically, this is the spin here the spinning ok this phi dot is the spin rate and psi dot this is your the precession rate and theta dot we will call as the nutation rate already we have discussed this thing the rigid body dynamics ok. So, we will do this problem so, this will expose you to how the uh, rigid body dynamics problem can be solved. Okay. Now, here in this case the uh, as you know once you play with the top. So, it is spinning at some uh, spin rate which is given by this phi dot okay. and uh, it makes certain angle with the vertical. So, this vertical we I have shown it here in this place. So, this is your vertical fixed axis ok and the gravitational torque it is acting here ok. So, x and y here shown x y and this is a small z this is small z. So, th this is capital Z, there is a difference. So, x y z capital X y and z this constitutes inertial frame, while the x y z small z it constitutes the body frame. Okay. So, here this is fixed to the body. So, x y z this is fixed to the fixed at the body frame fixed at the center of mass of the cone, but not spinning along with the cone. Okay. So, why we are not fixing you will see later on what is the advantage of not fixing it. If we can also fix the body axis such that it is a fixed here and there thereafter it is a rotating along with the cone as shown in this direction. This is the anti clockwise as seen from the top ok. So, this is the rotation here. Okay. Now, we have to solve certain problem related to this which I am going to state later on ok. So, here the torque acting is about the y axis. This y axis here it seems to be this is coming out here we can uh, maybe we will change it little bit the y axis. Y axis we can show like this. So, this is your y axis. So, the gravity x axis is inclined like this what it has been shown here. 
so x axis is making theta angle because this is the this particular line the axial line of the cone it has got inclined with the this vertical line by theta degree here so this x axis will also get inclined with the horizontal by theta angle so this will be theta angle which i am not going to show here because this will unnecessarily complicate the figure okay we'll take up this issue later on also so here basically due to the gravity there is a moment about the y axis okay and under this moment so this is not a torque free case earlier if you remember in the rigid body dynamics we have taken the case of a cylinder okay which is processing and there is the nutation angle involved and it's a spinning phi dot here this is theta and then there is the psi dot is present okay but that case we have taken where it was free from torque torque free rigid body dynamics we have done free from but here in this case it's not free from torque there is a torque acting at the center of uh, there is a force acting at the center of gravity and therefore a torque will act along the y direction if we put here x and y are shown here okay if i push it here to the bottom point so you will see that along the y direction the torque is acting Okay, so let us look into this video. This is from the YouTube. If you see here uh, this particular line, this is the equatorial plane. The green plane, which is shown, it's equatorial plane, and the dotted line here. Okay, so here uh, this is the dotted line. It is your, uh, it's a called the ecliptic plane. Okay, already we have discussed about this uh, just in the beginning. And the green line which is shown here, this is the equatorial plane. You are seeing from the equatorial plane from the side. And uh, this is uh, a view of the ecliptic plane from the top. So see, uh, now you can see that the ecliptic plane and the equatorial plane they are cutting along this line which is shown by the red line here okay this is the you can see the cursor it's a moving so uh, this is along the red line this is called the line of nodes okay so here in this case what is happening that as the this, this is the earth okay and earth equatorial plane it cuts the ecliptic plane and it cuts along this nodal line okay and earth is processing so if you see the uh, let us go further and see you can see that the this axis which is shown here this axis it's a rotating about this vertical line okay so this motion is the motion that takes place like this as you see by cursor so this line uh, this motion it constitutes the precession motion Okay, so this is see the small uh, this dotted line is getting generated here. So this is the precession. Okay, and your line of nodes which is shown here by the red line, it's a rotating. So this rotation, it takes place nearly around 25,800 years, means 26,000 years roughly. You can say it goes through 360 degree. Okay, so that means in 26,000 years. This line which is moving here, it will go once round like this. So right now, this line, the where the, I have put the cursor, okay. So about this curve, where the circle has appeared, so this line right now it points toward the polaris, okay. What you call as the polar star. Okay. After 5,000 years, there will be no polar star for the Earth, okay. Right now, the axis of the Earth about which it's rotating, so that is pointing toward the polaris. Okay. So and thereby it's a describing a circle like so. so this is the precision motion. In addition, there is a small uh, nutation motion which is not visible here that takes place about the green line itself. You can see that I am showing it by cursor. It does like this. See the cursor; it's a moving like this. So it will do this kind of motion. Okay. So this is called the nutation motion. 
So, the axis, the angle between the earth axis and this line, this line and this earth axis, it is a 23 and half degree roughly and because of the nutation, it is average value. So, because of the nutation, it keeps changing, okay. it keeps oscillating about 23.5 okay. and uh, this is the north pole of the uh, earth. So, now if we, uh, it is showing here that uh, at what time where this the this polar axis will be uh, pointing. Okay. So, uh, and this cancer and other things. So, what has been shown here? So, it is showing the this line of nodes as it is moving. So, sometimes it will be in the constellation of Aries, sometimes in the constellation of Cancer and so on. So, there are overall uh, how many constellations are there as you know from your uh, 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 astronomy part or the even in the astrology part this is quite well known this is the total 12 uh, constellation we call it Libra, Cancer, Scorpio and so on Pisces. So, your nodal line will be along the different uh, constellation during different period of time. So, what are my objective here is to show you that even this earth, okay. so this processes and this nutrients also okay. and as a result it is a polar axis right now it is a toward the polaris as we know our polar star is the polaris and it will keep changing over the period of time. So, why does this happen? This happens because of the torque acting about the center of gravity of the or center of mass of the earth. Okay. About the center of mass of the earth there is a torque acting and that torque is responsible for that torque is responsible for your uh, this precision motion. Okay. Let us see another video. Wheel and axle spin freely secured in a metal frame. This simple device so can be used in the most unexpected ways. There is a wheel is rotating ways. about uh, this axis the where the cursor is there. Okay. About this axis, so the this wheel is rotating. Okay. So if you spin the wheel at a very high speed, so this is equivalent to a disc rotating about this axis. Okay. Now, if, if we do this thing on the Earth, so we cannot make it free from the gravity. Okay, the torque will be acting on the system and because of this torque the system will process and this will mutate. So, this I am going to show you through the mathematics. So, this will be problem that will be doing it completely. Okay. So, let us look into this video. So, how the system it works Obvious. here the spin stabilization concept also comes into picture. Try to stand it on end and it falls over. Okay, see this uh, Normally, if the wheel is not Try rotating, if you it like keep this, it like this, so it will simply fall. Apparently, okay, it it's a falling. Gravity. But spin the wheel and okay, all But that if you changes. rotate it, rotate the wheel, then the it's a spinning method. about certain axis, okay. And there is the angular momentum associated with this, and wheel tries to maintain that particular direction until unless disturbed from that. First so here in this case, case, the gravitational torque will be acting and that will tend to disturb it and therefore as a result of that it processes and mutates. Okay. So, you will see shortly uh, in this video that uh, you can look such through such videos, okay. you can see that it is maintaining this direction. Earlier it was not able to stand, but now it is uh, standing up and this uh, and once the velocity of the wheel, the angular velocity of the this wheel, uh, it becomes a small, so thereafter it will come down. This okay. force will support the gyroscope like this. Now you see, the earlier it was not a standing there, now it is a standing and it is a rotating. Okay. It is a processing okay. and there is certain nutation angle involved with this. So, this happens because it is having certain amount of angular momentum okay. and this we have used for the spin stabilization of the satellite. Okay, so, by spinning any object you, you can make it point along certain direction okay. and if you perturb from that direction 
okay then it will tend to rotate you can see uh, again okay so this is undergoing precision motion and there is the associated this interesting behavior nutation angle also okay so we stop here with the, this video okay so this cone simulates that gyroscope what we have seen okay and it's a rotating about this point okay this is the ball socket joint and it's a spinning about this axis okay so derive the equation of motion for this analyze how much will be the angle and other things so as i am going to state it on the next page so problem is to derive the equation of motion for the gyroscope so uh, we state here the following problems this is capital z and this is a small z okay there are two axes we have already shown this is capital z here okay and the small z is shown here in this place so observing that emz and about the vertical axis and about the central axis of the body about this axis there is no torque because the whatever the gravity is acting so the torque due to this it will arise along the y axis okay and similarly along this axis there will will not be any torque okay. though it's a process processing along this you can see the gravity is as acting downward so in no way it the corresponding torque can be along this direction so therefore these two conditions are satisfied let with the moments of inertia of the top about its axis of symmetry so this is associated with the small z axis and these are associated with x y axis axis so uh, these two are if this is along z so this is along the respective transverse axis which is x and y so derive
uh, there is some change of symbol we will do here. Because uh, the symbols we have used phi dot for this pin, so the same symbol I will continue with, I will not use a new symbol. this is psi dot and this will write as phi dot and this also as the phi dot. So, so, these are the two first order differential equation that you need to work out. use the above equations to show that rectangular components omega small z is written. angular velocity of the top is constant so omega z of the angular velocity of the top is constant and that the rate of precision Also, we can it can be shown that plus so that this rate of nutrition this can be written as a function of theta. So, these are the objectives that we need to fulfill. So, already we have discussed about the rigid, dyna rigid body dynamics of a torque free motion. Okay. Here let us consider that there is a hoop like this or a square hoop which can rotate on this axis and this we write as rotation rate as psi dot. Okay and in this direction I will write here capital Z then let us take another frame which is here attached to this. So, this is on the gimbal 
ok. So, it can rotate here there is a bearing here. Similarly, the bearing is here. So, I will not write here bearing because I want to tag it with the corresponding directions and thereafter there is another bearing here to which to a wheel is attached So, this is bearing here. So, what we have discussed earlier about the torque, it simulates the this gyroscope, it simulates the same motion. How the this frame, this is the outer frame, we assume this to be massless. Okay, so, the associated moment of inertia will not be present. Similarly, this hoop also we assume it to be massless and therefore, associated moment of inertia will not be present. This is having mass and it is rotating about this axis. Now, consider this in a different shape. So, we have say this the outer body, the outer frame, it has rotated to some other orientation, okay, which I am showing here. So, this has rotated here okay, and the rotation angle the corresponding rotation angle we can measure ok. So, let us say that if I measure the rotation angle from the, the right now this is a straight ok. So, z we have shown here and x and y we can show. Okay. So, let us say this this direction is x and y is somewhere or either we can do it in a little better way. So, so, first of uh, all let us just look into the figure that it is rotating. So, let us say that the frame is has rotated by angle psi, we are not worried about from which axis. So, this is the axis here. So, initially this frame was coinciding with this line, now it has rotated by psi angle here. Okay. Then thereafter we assume that this red frame okay, which is shown in the red. So, this red frame also this has rotated. Okay. So, this is the bearing here about which it rotates and as a result it comes out. Okay. So, this rotation we can show it like this. Okay. It is a coming out. So, now it has got inclined. Okay. So, if I see it from the side, if I look from this side, so it appears like this. You have this frame, if you look this frame from the side, it will appear as a straight line okay. and the red frame, it will appear inclined like this. It will appear inclined in this way and this angle we show it by theta, that it has rotated by theta. Okay. If you look at this frame, uh, if I see it from the top, okay, here as it is shown. So, from the top, so this frame from the top, it will also look like a straight line. Okay. And if I rotate it by psi angle, so this is going to look like this. 
ok it, it has rotated by psi angle here ok. So, this rotation is like this if seeing it from the top ok. So, this is rotating anti clockwise similarly this has rotated like this and inside this then your wheel is there the wheel that is rotating. So, you have a wheel here which is mounted on this axis and this wheel is rotating. So, this rotation is here given by phi dot ok. This rotation you are showing it by psi dot and the rotation which has taken place here this you are showing by theta dot because this angle has changed from this place to this place and therefore, this is psi dot ok. As you can see like this is rotating like this. So, this is giving rise to the psi dot ok. Similarly, the theta dot it is appearing like this. So, along the thumb direction theta dot will be appearing ok. So, this is the anti clockwise motion shown here. So, this is anti clockwise motion. So, all the motion I have shown this is the anti clockwise motion. Now, we are ready to uh, discuss about the gyroscope what we have formulated. So, we will continue in the next lecture. Thank you very much.